I'll let you all look at this photo and tell me what you see. Just shout it out, anyone. Johnny 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 Okay, so this boy's name is Graham Young and he's actually a killer. He idolised murderers such as Hitler and poisoned and murdered his own family. By looking at him on the outside, you just think that he's a normal boy, right? Yeah. That's called judging a book by its cover. I've had people stereotype and judge me without me even having to say a single word to them. And I'm 101% sure that people have done the same to you. The things that I always tend to hear about myself is, you're Asian, you're supposed to be smart. Or you're popular, you must have a lot of friends. But these are just expectations. I'm not the smartest person and I have nowhere near the amount of friends that some people seem to think I do. So for, these of, for, so for those of you who don't know me, or even some of you that do know me and I just haven't told yet, I was born with a skin disease called eczema. It unfortunately got passed down to me through my dad's side of the family. Eczema is a skin disease that makes your skin rough, red, inflamed, and causes itching, scaling, and sometimes bleeding and pigmentation. There's different types and severities of this disease, ranging from just having dry skin to having it so bad that it even hurts to move. Eczema flare-ups can be caused by literally so many factors, whether it's the food I eat, the products I use, allergies, stress, weather, and even my problems. Thankfully, mine isn't the worst case, but it definitely has its days and takes a toll on me. My life and everyone around me. Having it from such a young age was hard, because I'd have to go to the doctors all the time. I had to try so many different treatments, and being a kid, all I wanted to do was do kid stuff and not have to worry about my body all the time. So as a young girl, I was already very insecure about what people thought of me. And as you can imagine, the insecurities only got worse as I got older. The eczema started getting worse when I grew older and it scared me because the doctors would always give me hope and say that I'd grow out of it. But there's still no sign of me getting better and getting rid of this. It restricts me more as a person now because I'm a teenage girl living in a city where self-image and the pressure to be perfect is such a big part of every teenage girl's life. Growing older introduces you to new and exciting things like new boys, new friends, a new dress sense, a new you basically. You start finding yourself and who you are as a person in your teenage years, but I have been so scared to introduce myself to these things. Along with eczema comes a million other things I have to worry about. I can't do much sport because sweating is bad for eczema. I can't eat the foods I want to eat because of my egg allergy. I've had near-death experiences because of what I accidentally ate or even touched. I have been hospitalised a few times because of asthma attacks. I can't go swimming often because water is our worst enemy. I had to give away my cat that I truly adored because I couldn't even breathe in my own home. I can't stay at my friend's houses for a long period of time if they have cats or pets. I can't wear what I want to wear because I feel insecure with the way that my body looks. I have an extensive amount of medication and treatments and I have to follow a tedious daily routine to keep my eczema manageable. I had always thought that because I live with this disease, I'm wasting my parents' money, time and energy just to keep me alive. I always thought that I was a burden to them and that they would be better off without me. <laughs> it was only in my recent years that I realised that I deserve to be here. People always judge me and say that I should be more confident, and they say that I have no reason to be sad or depressed. But they have no idea why I am this way and why I act the way I act. Eczema not only affects me physically, but emotionally. It's draining and exhausting, and there's been many times I just wanted to give up. But I take on life day by day, and I'm not going to let this define me. Stop judging a book by its cover. Another thing that most of you won't know about me is that I'm actually a Muslim. My whole family on my dad's side is Muslim. And now that now I know that I'm not the best role model for it, and I don't follow it strictly, but it is still what I've been brought up to believe in. I thought that this was a good topic to talk to you about because of all the negative publicity associated with Islamic State. I've even heard with my own ears people hating on Muslims, and it's honestly disgusting. A few extremist people that claim to be the same religion as us does not mean that we are all this way. 
It's like me saying that all of you guys are serial killers because you're the same religion as growing up. Muslims are actually strongly opposed to any form of terrorism, and it's against their religion. My family are the most caring, considerate, and selfless people that I will ever know. I look up to them with so much respect because of how they carry themselves, even with all these negative perceptions on their religion. Most of them were born and raised in Australia, and this is their home. I know that my family are absolutely horrified at what they hear, but they do not let that affect the way that they think about the person that has said these things. Because of all these people hating on Muslims, my family and even myself have been char characterised as terrorists. But who are you to judge? Australia is supposed to be a multicultural country. So why are you all inflicting hate on people that you don't even know just because of their culture and religion? Stop judging a book by its cover. I was going to talk to you all about technology today, but I was so inspired by people's stories that I couldn't just deliver that. I applaud the people that have got up here and talked so openly about all their struggles. It truly saddens me that no one even takes the time to know the truth anymore. And they just go along with a story that someone else has told them or something that they've heard. I know that the majority of you do it and don't even feel remorse for it. I know I've done it, but I'm changing the way that I think. And if all of you decided to do the same, then society would be a more acceptable place and friendlier too. So tell me now that after you've heard all of these stories that our classmates have told, will you treat them with more respect and actually acknowledge their existence? Or will your behaviour remain unchanged? Stop judging a book by its cover.